morning. I'm Sean from SunWest Nursery. Have you ever wanted to grow oranges, lemons, limes in your own garden? It's a possibility. For the last 15 years, I've been growing my own citrus for my own use at my nursery. Citrus can be difficult at times, but if a person takes their time, listens, and follows instructions, you too can have wonderful fresh vegetables and fruits in your garden. First thing that is that you need to understand what we do. This plant is called a Chinese bitter orange. It's from China. Deciduous means that it drops its leaves each year. And in the spring, it produces a small dogwood-like flower. It will produce a small fruit that is very, very bitter. But if you take the fruit, fry it, grind it up into a powder, it can be used as a seasoning in cooking. These have very sharp, thorny appendages. This is the grafting stock for our citrus. It makes the citrus more hardy. This is now hardy down to 27 degrees. With a little care in the Willamette Valley, Douglas County, you can grow these outside with just minor ways of protecting them from the freeze. This is usually what I plant my citrus in because I don't want them in a small container that you see here. This is a five gallon container. This is a 10 gallon. These are true dwarf citrus. They get approximately four foot high and four foot wide. Each one should have a dark green luscious leaf. The fruit will start out small and green such as you see on this one which has several Washington Naval oranges. 15 to 20 fruits actually on a tree at one time. This is a kumquat. The kumquat is totally edible. The skin and the fruit inside. It depends on the individual as to what part. Some people don't want to eat the skin, some do. This happens to be a lemon tree. We also have limes, grapefruit, and all of these small dwarf plants will grow in the Willamette Valley, Douglas County, even in Portland. The main thing to remember is you do not want to leave them in a five gallon container. You want to put them into a 10. Once it's in a 10 gallon container, it can stay there for life. Each and every one of the citrus has been grafted to the Chinese bitter orange. And if you look here on this one is where the graft is. If at any time you get growth from the soil up to the graft, you want to remove it because what you're getting is the growth of the Chinese bitter orange. If you leave the Chinese bitter orange on your tree, it will eventually overtake the citrus part of the tree and you would lose it. So remember, graft down, take it off. Graft up, it's fine. 
one of the things to keep in mind is that in California where most people grow citrus they use a lot of water Oregon has a different climate the soil needs to dry out in between waterings and if you have the proper type container at the bottom there are little holes that you can put your finger in to find out if it's damp. If it's damp, you do not water it. You wait another week and check the hole again to see if it's dry. When you find that the soil at the bottom of the container is dry, then you water it and you flood water it. That means you soak it totally from top to bottom. You set it aside. It may be a month before you have to water again even during the hot part of the summer. If your plant gets dry, the leaves will have a tendency to droop. That's telling you that it needs to be watered. Then you can water it again. Watch your spacing as to when you water, mark it on a calendar, and when the leaves droop, you water it again. That will tell you, depending on where you live, whether you need to water once every two weeks, three weeks or a month. During the winter time, you always keep them on the dry side. I have never watered my citrus more than twice during the winter. You always place it somewhere where it can get as much sun as possible and it's out of the rain. Water is not the best thing for these during the winter. If you're going to prune and you want to control the shape of your plant, you always prune in the spring, the summer, and early fall. Never prune your tree in the winter time. I have had people tell me that when these bloom, you will have lots of blooms on them, that you should pick some of the blooms off. I have found that you leave them there, you let the fruit develop, then you thin out the fruit. If you take the bloom too early, that may be one of the few blooms that got pollinated. All the citrus that I have are self-pollinating. Also be aware that all the citrus have little thorns on them. Not like the Chinese bitter orange, which has big ones, there will be a few. If you overwater your citrus, the leaves tend to turn pale yellow. As you can see, these are nice and dark green leaves on all my plants. The new growth when it comes out tends to be a little pale, but it's very thin and waxy looking. That is not overwatering. That's just a natural process, and the leaves will get more leathery and they will turn dark green. If you do overwater your plant, you can use ironite just around the edge of the pot, about a tablespoon to two tablespoons, or even a couple tablespoons of Epsom salt, which will help bring back the nice dark color. As you can see on an orange, these are green on the tree. They are going to get approximately this size and they will turn orange in color. If you leave them on too long, the fruit tends to be pulpy inside. Also when you have fruit on, you want to do just a little bit more watery so that the fruit has a chance to develop. Sometimes when you pick them, the end of the fruit will be a slight green color to it. That's quite normal because you want to pick it at the right time. It'll take you a little while to adjust to when to pick your fruit.